Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Fitzmung TV here, aka G Lauren33. I'm back here on Monica's channel. I just want to update you guys what's going on with the MCU. A lot of the announcements were made at the D23 Expo of future MCU projects, you know, and we're gonna go over what was announced at San Diego Comic Con. I already did a video on that a couple weeks ago, but you know, there has been new announcements, so I just want to make sure we're all in the clear and everyone knows what's going on. So basically, I just want to start off this video saying people asking when Avengers 5 is going to come out. I would not expect an Avengers 5 movie to come out till either 2023 or 2024. All right, because Endgame and Infinity War, they're supposed to be, you know, the two big movies that define this era of Marvel Studios. Now, Marvel Studios go into phase four and phase five, they're continuing the stories of the superheroes that are left. That survived the events of Infinity War and Endgame. They're also building up a new era of heroes. So when Avengers 5 comes out. It's going to be a very very hyped movie. And you know will Avengers 5 be on the level of Infinity War and Endgame. Well we'll have to wait and see. That's still 4 or 5 years from now. So we have to wait and see. But still um, it's very very exciting. Just know that it's not going to be coming out anytime soon. All right, Marvel Studios, they're building up new characters, they're telling new stories, and that's what that's what Phase 4 and Phase 5 is about. So let's go through Phase 4 and Phase 5 really quick. So Phase 4 of the MCU will start with Black Widow, the Black Widow film that comes out May 1st of next year, which is actually my birthday. Very excited about that. So I'm going to spend my birthday in the theaters to watching Black Widow. So May 1st of next year that's when the black widow movie the black widow movie comes out we're also going to be getting the eternals movie at the end of next year november 6th is the release date they have we're renting in right now um the falcon and winter soldiers series the first marvel studio series on the disney plus streaming service that's going to be coming out in the very early fall of next year so most likely, I would say late August, early September, because they're going to want to get that series out before the Internals movie, I would imagine. Then going to 2021, we're going to be getting the Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings movie with the Mandarin. All right, not a lot of details are on that movie right now, but 2021, just know that's coming. We're going to be getting three. We're going to get three Disney Plus streaming shows. We're going to get the Loki series. We're going to be getting the Marvel Studios What If animated series. We're going to be getting the Hawkeye series. And we're going to get the Wanda Vision series. All right. So 2021 is looking pretty big for Marvel Studios. Plus, we're going to be getting the Thor Love and Thunder movie at the end of November 2021. I'm just gonna go off on a limb. I'm gonna I'm gonna predict right now that will probably be the final appearance of Chris Hemsworth as Thor in the MCU. That's my prediction right now. Then going into 2022, the only film that's confirmed they haven't there's no Disney Plus streaming shows confirmed for 2022. Even though you know we we know we're gonna be getting the Blade series eventually. That will probably be either 2022 or 2023. We know we're gonna be getting the She Hulk series. We know we're gonna be getting a Moon Knight Disney Plus streaming show, and we're gonna get a Mrs. Marvel Disney Plus streaming show. All right, so very exciting. But there's no dates tagged to those shows as of right now. Probably either somewhere in 2023 or 2022. But um, we're going to be getting three MCU films in 2022. That's when Phase 5 is going to be um, coming up. The only film that's confirmed for right now for 2022 is Black Panther 2. And we all know how much we want Black Panther 2. You know, Black Panther... The first Black Panther movie was the only MCU film nominated for Best Picture. So, you know, we all can't wait to see what they have planned for the second Black Panther movie. Um, the two other MCU films we're going to be getting that year, if I had to make a prediction right now, we're mostly going to get Captain Marvel 2 probably early in 2022, around February 18th. And then we're probably going to get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 at the end of July, July 29th, all right, um, remember, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was supposed to come out, actually, next year, but remember, it got delayed, because James Gunn got fired, and, you know, James Gunn is not gonna 
come back to the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 franchise until he finishes the Suicide 2 movie. So that's what's going on with that. Also, Spider-Man 3 was supposed to come out in 2022, but now that, you know, Tom Holland and Peter Parker, for now, are out of the MCU, they had to change things around, which makes a lot of sense. But most likely, Captain Marvel 2, Black Panther 2, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, those will probably be the three MCU films we get in 2022. 2023, I don't know what we're going to get. All right, I have no idea what's planned. If I had to make a prediction, the only film I would say is probably written in for 2023, but not announced, is probably Avengers 5. All right? If I had to predict, I could still be wrong about that. But we'll have to wait and see. That's still four or five years from now. So there's still plenty of time. All right. But basically, that's about it. That's what's planned for MCU Phase 4 and Phase 5. It's very exciting. The only bummer, uh, the only two bummers for me personally is Spider-Man. He's not going to be in the MCU going forward unless Sony and Disney fix their issues. And hopefully they do eventually. And um, Iron Man, you know. Anybody that knows me knows that Iron Man was my favorite character in the MCU. And now it's going to be hard for me to envision an MCU without Robert Downey Jr. But who knows? Maybe once we get to the Avengers Secret Wars storyline or an Avengers 5 or 6, maybe, you know, we'll see RDJ come back from the dead to um, play the Iron Man character. Who knows? Who knows? But other than that, that's about all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Monica's channel. And this video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel, Fitzmark TV. The link is in the description down below. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Peace.